Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with another video on CSR3. Just wanting to kind of pump out these videos while I can because I have time to record right now and I really want to get these videos made since it's a fresh topic. So today's video is going to be just digging around CSR3, showing you the early access, showing you every single thing that basically nobody else has done on YouTube yet. So we're going to start right here from the home screen. It does have a corny storyline. It does have a single player mode. I have not yet seen multiplayer, so that might turn off a lot of people to this game compared to CSR 1 and 2. But remember, this is early access. This is version 0.8.0. .0. They might not even be focusing on that yet. They might be focusing on other things. Like, for example, you can't do the whole like CSR 2 thing yet where you open the car doors and stuff like that. So that might be coming later if they do add back in features from CSR 2. But right away, let's get started. We'll go through the different car brands and talk about it. So we're going to start with what car brands are available in CSR 2. There's Acura, Alfa Romeo, Alpine, Apollo, Aston Martin, uh, Audi, Bentley, BMW, Bugatti, Cadillac, Chevy, Dodge, Lambo, Koenigsegg, Jaguar, Hennessy, Ford, um, Ferrari, sorry, Lexus, Lotus, Maserati, McLaren, Nissan, Pagani, Porsche, and Toyota. Now let's see what cars are in the game. <coughs> oh yeah, I forgot, you just collect them. Anyway, <coughs> sorry, hold on. So first up, we got Acura. What's in the Acura section? Oh, we're gonna have to wait for all these loading screens. Just the NSX. Not a bad car. I really do like the NSX. People say this is one of their favorite cars created all of all time. This, they are very cool cars. I've never seen one in person. I'd very much like to one of these days. It costs 40 car credits to get. So basically, if you haven't watched my previous videos, the way CSR works, CSR 3, the way this game works is very similar to Racing Rivals 7.0 update you know, nearly 10 years ago. God, that hurts. Um, you basically collect car credits from winning races and opening crates and stuff like that. Once you have 40 car credits for this one, for example, you unlock the car and you just own it. Uh, Alfa Romeo, let's see what they got. Okay, the one with the name that I don't know how to pronounce. Very cool. I do like these cars. I would not mind one someday as like an actual daily driver or something like that, but I think I'm a little far off from that. Let's look at Alpine. The A110S. I wish we had Alpines in the United States. I really like how this thing works. It's almost like the backside of an Audi, but the front side is just, I don't know. I love the snout or it's almost why I have my love for the Fiat. It has this, the headlight snout. Why are these ones white and these ones not? I wonder if that's just an oversight. Let's see, Apollo. Nice. Oh my god. Yo, this is going to be sick to unlock. 90 car credits. That's going to be a difficult one. Okay. The Valkyrie. Should have figured out. Ah, we got multiple cars. The Vantage. I hope they clean up the animations for loading the cars. Vantage and the DBS. I figured they'd have the DBS. All right, next up we got Audi. Oop, my phone's in the way of me clicking. Let's check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. So we got the R8, the RS6, and the RS5. We're gonna do this quickly here, Bentley. I realized how long this video is going to be if I just go through every car and give my opinion on it. Bentley in a video game is always so weird to me. BMW. Let's see what we got. BMWs are nice. I've always liked them. I don't think I'll ever own one. The only one I think I'll ever own is like a 2 Series. I really like the BMW 2 Series. But that's really about the only series I like. Unless I'm going old school like 325 or 328. Bugatti Chiron Sport. I'm sure they'll have the Veyron and stuff at a later date with an update. Cool car. Caddies. Let's look at the Cadillacs. Which I'm also kind of surprised to see in a video game. But then again, the CTSV is basically a fancy Corvette. 
Let's not act surprised. Chevy. Check it out. I just bought a Chevy. I got a Chevy Sonic RS for a daily driver. Trying to decide if I tune it or not. I don't know. Ooh, I can zoom in with the mouse wheel. Cool. If you're wondering how I'm doing this, I'm actually playing it on my phone, but through USB I am connected with something called screen copy. And that's how I'm recording my screen for my phone. And the other Corvette, is that the E-Ray? I think it would have been cooler to have the E-Ray rather than just the regular Stingray. Also, you might notice these different types of drag racing conditions up here. Control is good for uh, the racetracks that have turns and corners. You have the power, which is good for just straight line speed. And then control also, like I said, good for cornering. There is one more. I'll talk about it if I see it here. Power. Ooh, we got a lot. We got the ACR. We got the Demon. Charger SRT. Hold on. And the Scat Pat. Sorry, I got interrupted by a three-year-old. <laughs> oh, man. Having three children. Ferrari. Ah, I should have figured the SF90 Stradale. Did I say that right? I'm not that... No, I'm not Italian enough for this. Uh, <laughs> probably not Italian at all. Competizone, nice. The 812, sick car. The F8 Spider. So far, this is the most cars we have in one brand is the Ferraris, it looks like. Dude, this thing is sick. It really kind of makes me think of, like, if they turn this into a hatchback, this car would be insanely awesome. I don't know why a Ferrari hatchback in my mind is just like the best thing ever. Maybe this kind of qualifies as one, but I'd want like a four-door with back seats. This thing would be sick. There we go, back to the Stradale. Ford, let's check it out. Ford, we got the Ford GT. We got the Shelby GT 500, sick. And we got the, ah, okay, it's the Mustang GT. I was very confused seeing GT and GT. I was wondering if this is an older Ford GT, but it's not. All right, let's go Hennessy. I could use some Hennessy in my life today. <laughs> Venom F5. Sick car, man. Sick car. Go Jags. I would love to have one of the V12 Jaguars sometime soon in my life. I think that would be a really cool thing though. Okay, we got the Project 8, the XESV, pretty sick. It's like a family sedan turned race car. I kind of like it. The F-Type R, okay. Never heard of this one. Hmm, cool little car. I don't know, I'm not a biggest Jaguar fan. I just want the old school V12. Oh, the Jesco Absolute. Man, I can't wait to get to a point that we can unlock all this stuff and actually run it. Oh, such a cool car. I love what Koenigsegg is doing. Koenigsegg? Koenigsegg? I don't know how to say it right. We got the Revol Revoluto? I don't know, like I said, I ain't Italian. <laughs> Sick car. We got the SVJ. I have ridden in one of these. Oh my god, the one that I was inside of was the SVJ, um, it was this one specifically, it had Agripovic exhaust on it, one of the loudest things I've ever heard, and then I tried to race the owner. <laughs> I can't, I, I believe it was in my Fiat, <laughs> that was a mistake, <laughs> I got chewed up. Anyway, and we got this guy, cool, 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 Lexus. Ah, uh, classic car company. I know. I should have figured it was the LFA. I was expecting it. This game is nothing but, like, crazy nice cars. And I almost don't like it. All that's in this game is, like, the collectible... You know, it's not cars that me and, you know, you, like, you know, an average money maker, let's say, uh, could own just at any time. It, it's not like, there's not like a Honda Civic, or, actually, there's not Honda at all. But look at Lotus. But there's not any cars so far that I've seen that are just like in the reach of a normal person that makes like fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year. And I almost don't like that in racing games. Let me buy the cars that are also in my reach, 
Yeah, it's not the same as driving it in real life. This thing is sick, the Amira. But at the same time, I don't know. I just like collecting the cars I have in real life on a video game, which is why I was so happy when CSR2 had the Fiat 500 apart. I don't know of any games that have the Chevy Sonic, though. As far as I'm aware, Maserati. <laughs> Many games have had the Golf GTI. I don't know why every company that adds a Volkswagen Golf to a game adds the GTI. Add the all-wheel drive R. Come on. McLaren, here we go. Ooh, there's a lot of McLarens. We got the Senna. We got the Speedtail. We got the 765 LT. Sick. We got the Archura. I don't know this one. Okay. McLaren has a million and a half cars in the Senna. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Nissan R35 calling it called it it's the nismo r35 okay cool and then just the regular gtr that okay this is probably the first car i see in this game that someone making 60 to 80 thousand a year can definitely afford so this is the first car that's kind of in this game that i've seen that i think anybody could own pagani there's only one car under pagani for now but man is it sick Opia, such a cool freaking design philosophy Pagani has. We got two more. We got Porsche and Toyota. We got a lot of Porsches. Six, six, the 911 Turbo S92. <coughs> GT3 RS, also a very sick car. You know, I can tell you the first mod I'm going to attempt is allowing me to zoom out further. The Carrera 4S. Awesome car. And the GT4. Awesome car. Toyota. And it's the Supra. That's every car in the game so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll make a video showing more gameplay and stuff here in the future. I realized how long this video ended up being about 12 minutes. So I think I'm going to make this its own video on its own subject of just what cars are in the game. And we'll do another video digging around the rest of the game. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.